Is it too late to start your low content book publishing now in 2022? Let's talk about it. Hello home bosses, my name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel which is all about helping you to make money online. And today I want to talk to you about something which I've been hearing a lot and that is that it's too late now to go into KDP publishing. When I first started in 2019, people were already saying that it's too late, that people starting three years ago were making money and anybody starting now, that was in 2019, would not be successful at Amazon KDP. And before that, I did blogging and people were also saying it's too late to start a blog. People are making a lot of money with blogs, but that's now saturated. Too many blogs out there. And YouTube was the same. When I first started YouTube, people were saying it's too late to start YouTube now. There are already so many YouTubers. It's impossible to, to be successful now. So there's a pattern here. I feel that everybody is saying, it's too late for something. And uh, I can see why people are saying that. And I used to think that at one point, I used to think it's too late for me now because I'm not as young as I used to be. I could have started a long time ago. But I think that sometimes you just have to start whenever. It doesn't matter when. And when people are saying that, it's too late to start because you're not going to be successful and people that started before had an advantage, then I think that is the wrong thing to say because you only have to look around. When I started in 2019, people were saying that same thing to me and if that had put me off, I wouldn't have started and I wouldn't be here now doing this. So I think that you just have to start whenever that is and you have to make the best of your situation. Was it easier years ago? Maybe. I don't know. I wasn't there to, <laughs> to judge that. I think what happens is that we look at the people that started years ago and they're now quite successful and we think, oh yes, it's because they started a long time ago. And that is not the reason. The reason is they put in a lot of hard work. We don't see that side. We don't see how much work people put into something once they are successful. The other thing that is happening a lot is that people start with low content publishing, for example, and they make 10 books and they're not seeing any sales straight away. And I think people expect the results to be immediate and they're not. So what do they think? They think, oh, well, this isn't working. It's too saturated or it's too difficult. And I think that is the wrong attitude because you could say that about any business. When you start a business, it takes time for that business to get going. You can't start whatever business it is and expect results the same day or even in a week or two weeks or a month. It takes a while. It can take a year. It can take longer. My advice for anybody starting low content book publishing or any other type of online business is to have another income which supports you and to start this as a, a side income. And that way you're not under pressure to perform or to succeed straight away because it's going to take time and you're going to have to put in a lot of work. This is the other thing. A lot of people start this thinking that it's going to be easy and it really isn't easy. You have to put in a lot of work. You have to learn a lot. When I first started, I took about I took a few months to learn everything. I was watching YouTube videos. I was watching people like Kelly Publish, Rachel Harrison Sand, Paddy from Stacking Profit, Rob Cubbon. Uh, there were so many people that I watched. Shashwat, Ashia, I watched as well. And I just started learning as much as I could. I just made notes. I, I learned all the rules. I learned what not to do. It's a good idea to learn from other people's mistakes as well. And there are lots of YouTubers that really take you on their journey and how they created their business. And I think I learned a lot from them and uh, I learned what not to do as well. So you do need to take your time learning everything. You can't watch one video that tells you how easy it is to create a notebook 
and then expect to be successful in KDP. That's not how it works. And I think the reasons people don't succeed are, for example, that they create books too quickly and they don't research those books. And when I say research, I don't mean having high volume demand and uh, low competition and people are very fixated on the figures. They think there's some kind of formula to finding niches and that is not the case. Researching a book is all about researching the whole niche, any niche, it doesn't matter, and seeing how those books are created. How are the best sellers created? What colors do they use? What kind of covers do they have? Read their reviews and find out what people like about those books and what people dislike about those books. And you spend quite a long time just researching those things before you even attempt to, to publish a book. And I think that a lot of people are missing that step. They are just looking for niches that have less than a certain amount of results, that have high volume in search, and they're kind of working under some kind of formula. And you can do that, but that's not the whole part of research. You really need to understand why people are buying certain books. And I think that's missing in a lot of cases. And the other thing is the covers. Some people are producing covers very quickly and they're not really standing out from all the other covers on Amazon. And that also goes to the books, the type of books that they create. So people are creating a lot of logbooks that have already been done. They create a lot of journals that have already been done, notebooks that have already been done. And really it's about offering something different or offering something better than has already been done. And that's what people don't quite understand. They think that copying the books that are already on Amazon is how they're going to be successful. That's also not the case. Your books have to be different from all the other books. So my advice is to really learn and get better at what you're doing. For example, somebody in my Facebook group may post that they sold $300 worth of books. What are the first questions that people ask? Most of the time they're asking, oh, how many books do you have? <laughs> you know, and it's not about how many books you have. It's the type of books that you have and the quality of the books that you have, how you've researched those books. So the quantity really doesn't matter. The only reason the quantity matters is because the more books you create, the better you you get at creating books. But if you're just making the same type of books over and over and over again, that's not going to work. So don't create lots of books because you think the more books you have, the more you're going to sell. That is totally wrong. You can create lots of books to get better at creating books, but if they're all the same, don't, don't do that because you're not going to get anywhere. So my advice to you, if you want to start publishing low content books now on Amazon KDP, I would say try it. You know, there's nothing to stop you from trying and see if it's something that you enjoy doing because a big part of this is to enjoy it. If you don't enjoy what you're doing, then it's going to be really hard for you to, to succeed. And there are so many other ways of making money online. You don't have to stick with something if you don't enjoy it. My advice to you is learn as much as you can before. Watch YouTube videos. You don't have to do any courses. You can learn from watching people online. You can come on my channel, of course. You're very welcome. But there are also lots of other really good YouTubers that, that tell you how it is and that teach it in the right way. And I mentioned a few already, and I think I've got a video somewhere where I tell you the kind of YouTube channels that I enjoy watching and that teach it the right way. And uh, if you do want to take a course, and that would be the, the faster way of, of learning because then you have everything in one place, then I can recommend the Self-Publishing Titans Masterclass that, that they just released. And uh, that really is a comprehensive course. I've looked at it and it really has everything that you need to know to start your low content book publishing business. And it's explained in a very clear and in a very comprehensive way. So I can really recommend that if you want to take a course, that is the one that I recommend to you because 
it's really beginner friendly but even if you have already started there is a lot of information there to to really help you along in your business and at the moment it's still at the launch price of $97 which is really good at the moment I will leave all the details below this video and it really goes through the whole process from researching to advertising to everything so I think this is a really good course for beginners and also for intermediate authors or publishers just to kind of I mean even I learned something new from from taking that course so there are things that we do differently we even somebody with experience there are things that we sometimes overlook and somebody else might have different ways of doing things that you can try out so I thought I found value in the course and I've been doing it since 2019 so I can really recommend it I wouldn't recommend anything that I haven't tried myself and that I like so I will leave the link under this video and it is an affiliate link so I do get a small commission if anybody buys that course but like I said if I didn't think this course was really good I wouldn't be promoting it and uh, there are lots of other courses out there but I think that for beginners and for kind of intermediate publishers this is ideal and it's very comprehensive and self-publishing titans also have a facebook group where they answer all of your questions so there's plenty of support if you want to take this course and start your low content book publishing business so that is the course but you can also like I said watch YouTube videos it will take longer but you can do it all for free as well when I started I didn't have the budget to buy any courses and that's how I did it it takes longer and when you have a course to guide you you make less mistakes that's the advantage of of following a course because then you are following the right way to do it and the other thing that nobody talks about when we start low content book publishing is that it can open the doors to other creative things that you can do online so for example I got into low content publishing through blogging but you could do it the other way around you could start your low content book publishing business and then create a blog or website for your books brand your books and then start blogging about them so you get into the blogging side of things as well you could start creating printables with the interiors that you create for your books that is another sideline so it's important to create lots of different income streams if you're just relying on low content book publishing that's great if you're first starting concentrate on one thing at a time but once you have gained traction with that and you are creating an income then start other things and it's easier once you've started low content book publishing because for example printables are a lot easier to create if you know how to create low content books so there's all sorts of other doors that open when you create books and uh, there's a lot of online businesses that you can create in my case I have created lots of other income streams from low content book publishing so I've created courses I've created the YouTube channel that you're watching I have blogs as well and I've got the book publishing business and I'm still looking for other ways of of making an income online it's a lot easier once you've created one type of business online business and then you can look at other types as well and I think that when people say it's too saturated it's too late to get started I think they're really looking at excuses as to why it's not working for them and that's fine you know if you are not successful in this there are lots of reasons for that but it's not because it's too late to start I think a lot of people go wrong because of the reasons I mentioned earlier you know then they're creating books too quickly their expectations are not realistic they expect to to really be successful at this too quickly and it doesn't happen like that it took me quite a while to to be at this point now but if I hadn't started when I did start I wouldn't be here now and that is the same for anybody starting now if you start today next year you will be much further along and uh, I think blaming it on it being saturated or blaming it on other people you know other people are spamming KDP and that's why I'm not successful 
If you're pointing your finger at somebody else, you know there are three fingers pointing right back at you. Always look for the reason why something isn't working inside of yourself, not outside, because the outside doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what other people are doing. It's what you are doing that's important. So have confidence in yourself and try. You know, there's nothing to say that you can't try. And then if it doesn't work out, you go on to something else. This is where people also fail because they are in a situation where they have to make it work. And that's why I said it's really a good idea to have an income, a secure income that you can rely on while you are trying this business. Because if this is the only income that you're getting, that is hard. That is, you know, you're really relying too much on this having to work. And then you don't take your time, you take shortcuts. And that's when it can often fail. So make sure that you're doing this as a sideline to start with and that increases your chances of success. So I hope you took away some good points from this video. I will leave all the details on the self-publishing Titans Masterclass under this video in case you want to get started on low content book publishing and for all of you that are already in this business and that are struggling just keep going and try different things. Don't keep doing the same things over and over again because that is not bringing you the results. So try different things and I will try and make more videos on this subject to help you all along. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.